How to buy your first cryptocurrency? I'll take you through the necessary steps, whether you're new to crypto or not, so let's begin. Pick a cryptocurrency exchange. This is basically a platform that facilitates the ability to buy cryptocurrencies in exchange for fiat, like US dollars or euros. There are hundreds of cryptocurrency exchanges, each with its own pros, cons, and rules to how they function. However, exchanges like Coinbase, Binance, or Kraken are considered the best options for beginners due to higher volumes, optimal security, and ease of use. Of course, which one you pick out of these exchanges will depend on your geographical location. So for example, if you live in the US, it's best to stick to Coinbase. But if you live in Asia, then Binance seems good. In Europe, Kraken's Euro account seems the way to go. Remember, an exchange is not the only place where you hold your crypto and we will discuss that later in this video. You will be required, however, to upload a form of ID and a proof of residence, like electricity or a water bill, to conform to international anti-money laundering laws and KYC regulations. This process takes about two to three weeks on average, but can take longer depending on the cryptocurrency market activity, like when it's bullish or bearish. So now that you have set up your crypto exchange account, and note, the number of cryptocurrencies will vary depending on which exchange you signed up with. So for example, Binance has way more cryptocurrencies and trading pairs than Kraken or Coinbase. It's time to buy your first cryptocurrency, right? Well, here it's recommended and not considered as financial advice that it's safer to stick to the first 20 cryptocurrencies by market cap because they have bigger volumes and much more credible teams and track records, but still not a guarantee, which takes us to the second part, doing research. Research is a very, very broad term, but in order to carry it out properly, you have to do a lot of digging. The projects, team, tokenomics, track record and histories, technology, roadmap, the community, competition, development activity, future prospects, and utility. Of course, there is much more than what meets the eye, and this process is very rigorous and daunting. However, the rewards are worthwhile when one can strike a gold mine by finding a project with an actual value to its investors and the world on time scales of years or even decades. But remember to always authenticate the information that you find and to never ever fall into a relationship involving blind trust between you and the cryptocurrency project or between you and the community of that cryptocurrency project. Even during the process of hodling this new coin or token, you should keep doing research and make sure that they deliver on targets and demands, or else you'll lose out like the investors who threw money at EOS, a project deemed as an Ethereum killer and the future of smart contracts, but it fell during the 2018 bear market heavily. So always stay wary and about your wits. Congratulations, you're now the proud investor of a something coin or token. What can you do right now? Well, you can send it or receive it as a means of currency. Of course, this depends on the popularity and legitimacy of a project. So do watch out for scammers that try to convince you that their currency is used all over the world or the internet when no one knows what it is or on huge timescales. Currently, only Bitcoin and some other altcoins like Litecoin and Dash that have been able to get into the world of actual currency use, but mainly Bitcoin as it's the biggest by market cap. Staking is a process that allows users to delegate their crypto funds in exchange for small rewards paid in that currency. But not all cur currencies do this. Uh, for example, Bitcoin is considered a proof of work blockchain, so staking isn't possible. But Cardano is a proof of stake blockchain, so it can be done. Again, it's best to do more research on which coins offer staking and rewards given which some consider as passive income in some cases. But beware, some coins like Cosmos which is one of the top 20 coins out there, are considered inflationary. So staking this coin is highly encouraged so that the inflation rate doesn't catch up to you in few years time and your profits in the future, hopefully that it rises in value. Because it does not have a hard maximum cap, 
so there could be uh, theoretically infinite amount of cosmos coins if the project really wanted to do so now this is a recommended step and one i feel obliged to tell you about if you're new to crypto there are two types of crypto wallets a hot wallet and a cold wallet a hot wallet is a wallet connected to the internet so like crypto exchanges and software wallets on your laptop or phone and a cold wallet is a wallet that is not connected to the internet the cold storage wallet is much more secure from hackers and viruses trying to steal your crypto so you should in my opinion and the industry standard to buy one if you're putting huge amounts of money into cryptocurrencies or above a thousand dollars just for security purposes and peace of mind there are a couple options out there like trezor or ledger and i'll have links down below in the description for the ledger nano x it's a referral link which helps me out a lot when making videos and it doesn't cost any extra so i appreciate the support if you choose ledger for that option cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology is a fascinating innovative world we are now experiencing hands-on and to be honest i feel very proud and humbled to have joined this space and continue to make more youtube videos on this topic and sharing my journey which is now of more than four years so subscribe to know the latest and greatest about crypto thanks for watching and see you guys on the next video